What up everybody, it's April Dawn, let's talk about it. This is Scandal, season seven, episode, mm, I don't know, I think it's 12. All right, let's talk about it. All right, this episode was, mm, you know, I kind of feel like at this point, we still having a little bit, you know, we don't really need this superfluous episode, but it ain't really superfluous. Shout out to Mariah Lee. It's an episode that's kind of leading us up to this big finale. So now I can see that Scandal is about to give us this huge finale. They making Cyrus the ultimate bad guy. So I feel like Cyrus either gonna die or go to jail or something really serious is gonna happen to Cy because they went full bad guy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Cyrus is preparing for a speech that he's gonna give during the correspondence dinner. You know the one they do every year the where they crack jokes on each other. They basically roast each other. So he's getting ready for that. He gets a call from Millie to come into the office and that's canceled. He needs to go to Lisbon for a pirating summit, a, like a web pirating summit. He's upset about this of course, but she tells him that Jake is gonna take his place because he wants to do this fantastic speech he was gonna do or whatever and so he's really pissed about it but Jake is gonna take his place and so she said go ahead and get yourself ready because that's where you going he's going with David Rosen so David and Allie are you know preparing for the day basically he's getting ready to go to the summit and he tells her that he has a reservation for this really fancy restaurant for them to go to dinner you know Allie says cool but y'all know Allie started tripping as soon as he leave like oh my god oh my god is he gonna ask me to marry him I mean that's the first thing that she was thinking expensive restaurant we don't do restaurants you know so Allie Allie start tripping. So we they get on the plane. Everybody's on, you know, Cyrus boards. He says something to the pilot. They get on the plane. They get settled. And then the pilot comes to them and say, hey, um, guess what? Uh, I don't see what had happened was we're not controlling the plane no more. It's a virus that has taken over and they are controlling the plane at this point. So they've been hacked. So we with Olivia and her mom. Olivia goes over to her mom's house to the mom to the condo that her mama basically is imprisoned in and she brings some food for her and she says, Why are you over here? What are you doing here? She's like, oh, it's your birthday. You know, I want to come celebrate your birthday with you. And she's like, I can't eat all this food by myself. And she's like, No, you're gonna I'm gonna stay with you basically. And she's like, What? You you staying over here with me? Like, what's really going on? So her mom is pretty receptive at the beginning. Hmm. That'll change. Ah, that'll change really quickly. Uh, back at the White House, Millie is briefed with what's going on. They don't have any communication with the passengers inside, so they don't know if they held hostage, if, you know, if they just in there chilling, if it's like a physical person, but they know a virus has taken over the plane, um, basically has been introduced, and so, you know, they can't do anything about it right now. So on the plane, they get in the same briefing. They don't have any way to get in touch with anybody. Uh, the one reporter is videotaping it, and um, they telling her to stop, and she telling them, She's still on the clock. So they're making everybody turn in their phone, their laptops, everything because it, the virus was introduced through a laptop or a phone or some type of situation like this. So at this point, Cyrus' secretary started looking crazy and she pulled Cyrus to the side and was like, hey, I think I'm the one who put the virus on the plane because a couple of days ago, my laptop went missing and I didn't say nothing and the next day it was there. So, you know, I didn't say anything. He was like, I really need you to think about who was in the office when your laptop came up missing. She said Jake. I don't even know if she said Jake, but it was implied that it was Jake. So right at that moment, the plane hit a little turbulence. Everybody fall out. When we come back, Cyrus it tells David that the plane has been redirected and it's going towards DC. It's basically being used as a missile. So um, they need to get involved. They can't trust the White House. He tells him about his secretary and they need to get QPA involved. They got out of way to get a signal to them. So they go to the tech woman that's sitting out in the tech room, okay? And she tells them, you know, they get updates from the National Weather Service and, you know, some type of way they work out where they can get a signal to QPA and they send it out as a virus, but you know, they got the message and they said they on top of it. So QPA is hard at work on the case. So Millie is talking to Jake in the situation room and she wants to ground the plane. And Jake says the only decision you need to make at this time is to shoot the plane down. We can't allow that plane to crash into a major metropolitan area. Now, Millie catches C and it's like, Jake, now I know I'll be on your team or whatever, but don't tell me that you trying to really kill Cyrus like this. Like, I don't have time for this. And he's like, no, ma'am, I don't have anything to do with this. And she tell him, you know what? I don't want you in my situation room anymore. I don't want you to have nothing to do with this. You go to your office and I'll deal with you later because I ain't got time for this. So once again, Millie is being stupid. I mean, Cyrus, 
I'm gonna get to this in a minute. But Millie being stupid, once again, Millie stay losing. QPA has, like I said, they got the message from Cyrus and David. They are hard working on the case. They have to break the virus. So, you know, they looking through the, you know, they trying to figure out what's going on with the virus. And Abby is begging to help. She wants to help. Millie has called Olivia at this point. Because, you know, like I said, them hoes can't breathe without Olivia. But Olivia ain't answering the phone. She with her mama. Millie even called Fitz at some point in the episode. She even called Fitz and Fitz was like, do you want to know what I would do? She said, no, she hung up. I was kind of glad that she couldn't get in touch with Olivia because Olivia asked would have swooped in and solved the problem. It's time for Millie to stand on her own two feet. Y'all be talking all that cash money. Should not live without her. Do it, okay? Make us believe you can live without Olivia. So Olivia is still with her mom and you know they getting into a little talk and her mom is really like, cut the shit, girl. Why are you over here with this dry ass souffle? I mean, her mama read her for filth. It's like her mama like beating up on her. I feel bad for Olivia, y'all. I felt bad for her at this point because I really feel like her mom and them, they just be like dogging her out just because they she there. They like a punching bag. Y'all act like Olivia chose her mama and daddy. Like, you act like she was like, hey, can you have me? So anyway, her and her mom is like, why are you over here? You know, what do you want? I know you want something. And she's like, I just want to spend time with you because I love you. And she's like, if you love me, you would give me a suitcase full of money and a trip to Paris if you want to give me some real French food. I ain't got time for this bullshit, girl. I don't want to be up in here with you. And she then she tells her, she said, well, you want the kind of mom that goes, you know, baby, I'm so proud of you. Because when they come into the scene, just know, I just wanted y'all to know how saucy Annalise is. Now, we gonna get to this on how to get away with murder, but Annalise ass was not talking about Olivia. She was not thinking about Olivia. She was on back to her life, living her life. And Olivia was sitting there talking about Annalise is so passionate. Annalise is this. Annalise will take your booty, girl. Why you talking? Annalise will take your little booty. I'm just saying, Annalise is saucy as hell. So her mom was like, you know, what kind of mom do you want me to be? You want me to say, oh, baby, you're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. You know, she was like, you know, I'm not that kind of mother. And I was like, really? Do you really have to act like this? Like, golly, I... Her mama is horrible. So Millie decides to send up the fighter jets, you know, as a precaution. And when she sends up the fighter jets and they seeing this on the news at QPA, Abby start tripping again. She go into the other room. You know, she was the press secretary. She knows that, you know, when they send the fighter jets up that, you know, they preparing to shoot the plane down. And I didn't realize I wanted to be with David. And, you know, hug after he see her all upset. He like, he gasped. Like, I'm going to solve the problem, you know. I wonder what the hell going to happen that hook at the end of this season. I, that's going to be interesting to see how his story comes to a conclusion. So the journalist that was videotaping earlier, some kind of way she gets into the little tech room and then guilt trips the woman into like, you know, people deserve to know what's going on. I felt, I saw a Wi-Fi signal. If you have a signal, please send it out. And so I guess she, it worked or whatever. So Cyrus and them, they finding that, you know, they, they got the fighter jets in position. So he like, listen, you know, we don't have much time. They got the fighter jets in position. And then he goes to give this very presidential speech about how they're patriots and not many people get to serve their country you know even their duty right now might might be the soldiers duty right now might be to kill everybody so you know they are doing a service for their country yada yada the whole time the journalist is streaming this on her phone but how you got a Wi-Fi signal strong enough to be doing a streaming like y'all tried it okay but whatever so he's streaming and everybody all over the world is seeing Cyrus make this very presidential speech back right? with mama and Olivia so Olivia is freaking out because she finally looks at her phone and sees all the calls. She calling people. They not answering the phone or whatever. Her mom is sitting over there. She not pressed at all. She like, girl, just relax. Just breathe. You know what I'm saying? Chill out. Just she rubbing her back. And y'all, then she start condescending her like, oh, baby, it's going to be okay. Just breathe. I'm so proud of you, honey. And then she tells her that Olivia is an embarrassment. That she taught her better than that. And, you know, these people kicked her out of the White House. So why? Why is she worried about what happens to them? They she they did they stuff to you and they gonna get theirs or whatever. And so Olivia's like, bitch, you is evil. And my and when she said all this, I said out loud, oh bitch, you is a demon. Bitch, you girl, you you just you just evil to the core, Mama Pope. Like i you are wearing us low to the white knee. You act like Olivia is not your child. Like when do you get to be my mama? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like after she was with Cicely Tyson, Olivia really tried to have a mama moment. Now, don't get me wrong. She is held up in the house against her will, but it's like, damn, like, you have been gone her whole life. You think that you would want to spend a little bit of time with your daughter, but 
Who ain't my child? Anyway, Millie asked Jake one more time, did he do this? Jake said, listen, if I wanted to kill Cyrus, I could have gave him two pills. They're going to knock him out dead. You know, he done had a heart attack before. Nobody would question that. I'm not about to be playing this big old spectacle and kill a whole bunch of innocent people to kill him. I don't got time for this shit. So, um, girl, it was not me, okay? It was not me. It wasn't me. And David and Cyrus are on the plane. They are preparing to die. They, you know, pull out some liquor. David pull out some drama mean. And at this moment, you know, everything is coming to a culmination. You know, they, they about to me reach the limit, run out of ocean, you know, before they got to shoot the plane down. Um, at QPA, they trying to hack into the system. So all this is happening at one time. It was real dramatic, you know. Um, and it come down to the last second. But we see Abby at her house and the doorbell ring. And voila, David is there. So we know they made it out alive and everything is all good. And so at this same time, Olivia sends her mom a package, and in the package is a nice coat, the one that she said, you know, you get a coat like the one I, um, you know, like the ones you wear or whatever, and when she shaded her earlier, and she said, look in the box, and the box it was some coordinates, bank account, all that shit, you can get on your flight to Paris, you can, you know, this is the money in a Swiss bank account, you can do whatever you want, and mom, and you're free. I read an article, and it said that even though she thought she had one, she really lost because there's nobody for you to antagonize with. Now you all alone. Like, I was sitting in my house. Now you played with Olivia. You fuck with Olivia. You kept talking shit to Olivia. You would not let that girl live. You wouldn't let her breathe and be your daughter. There's no time you was a loving mother to this child, to this woman. And now she done completely turned her back on and not look at you. You looking stupid. Talking about something. My birthday really is on the 27th. Girl, bye. Okay? Bye, Mama Po. Bye for Mama. Bye. We are we over you. Shout out to Color Me Pink. Bye for Mama, we over you. At this same time, or well, after this, Olivia goes to Cyrus's house and she pulls Cyrus' card. I'm not gonna lie, they had drew me in a little bit. I didn't realize it was Cyrus until about almost the end of the episode. But um, she goes to Cyrus and she has put together that Cyrus is the one who put this whole thing together to get himself more visibility. And he tell her that you know patience is not one of his virtues. And she like, what you talking about? What's your plan? What are you gonna do with Millie? You know, cause you're doing all this for seven years from now. Like, why are you doing all this? And he was like seven. She was like, well, you think she'll be out in four? And he was like, uh, like, bitch, she gonna be out before that because I'm a killer. Okay? So she, he like, she like, what you planning? What you planning? He's like, I'm not, you know, basically, I'm not gonna tell you, bitch. Don't worry about what I'm planning. I'm about to be the president. I'm about to take it all. So I think this is what's gonna bring Olivia back in the game. It's gonna be a big Cyrus takedown. And um, I'm here for it. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I could see where she going with it. Even though this episode was, meh, I could have taken more Olivia. Olivia, I could have had a whole episode with Olivia and her mama, okay? Olivia mama is a demon. Her, at least her daddy love her. Like, at least he showed that he loves her sometimes, but her mama is, who child? I feel, I know why Olivia is the way she is, because her family is just terrible, girl. It's just terrible. So, I want to hear what you guys think about the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. I will holler at y'all next time. Have a blessed day. Peace.